February of last year was the month in which this entire series started. It started out as a fun experiment seeing who can potentially make it across Final Destination. A lot of people enjoyed it and eventually I made more videos in a similar style, such as the Green Base, the Death Pool, the V-Hole, Under the Meaver stage, and finally Under the Tournament Waiting stage. They're not always perfect since there are some characters I failed to make it over while other YouTubers have linked me to characters that can make it across, but it's always nice to have feedback on characters I may have missed out on, and as DLC characters perpetually unlock, I began to make updates with those characters in mind and as of now, the Who Can series has been my most viewed video. So it may be shocking seeing how, considering how popular these videos get, why haven't I made another challenge? Every single stage presented in each series has some sort of purpose. Over Final Destination was the start of the challenge. Originally I wanted to do Under Final Destination, however at the time, there was already a YouTube video made by Beefy Smash Dudes who has already made a pretty in-depth and skillful video of the possible characters who can make it Under Final Destination. So I figured I'd give some of the characters who previously failed a chance by giving them a somewhat easier task. The same thing can be applied to under the Miiver stage. It's a slightly easier version of Final Destination, so I'd figured I'd give every character a go. With those two exceptions, every other stage has some sort of viable challenge. The Green Base was supposed to test every character's vertical recovery, the Death Pool was supposed to test every single character's horizontal recovery, and in order to make it more sustainable for competitive play, I've extended the stage and the end goal slightly higher. The V-Hole was to test every character's spacing recovery. This was also the reason why I brought back the level system from the first video. Reintroducing the difficulty system brings the idea of how difficult it would be for each character to travel in a narrow pathway with lava surrounding the area. Originally though, the stage was supposed to have lava on the top side of the V-Hole, however with testing that type of stage with every single character, I came with the conclusion that only two characters were narrow enough and had the most recovery options that can make it inside the V-Hole with the lava on the top side of the stage. Yes, even Villager failed. Though it might be possible for him to pass, his ranking would probably be level 9 if he did. So I figured that would make it a pretty bad video if only two characters make it over with every single other character failing. So I made it slightly easier by removing the lob on the top side. But regardless, there were some characters that because of their specific spacing with their recoveries, it was pretty difficult for certain characters to make it over. A common criticism I've seen, which doesn't really have a citation, was King DDD. People assumed that because his recovery was really good, he'd be a level 1 instead of a level 9. The thing is though, I didn't see them account for the way DDD's up special even when cancelled is hard to maneuver. His limited jumps were just barely enough to get him past the halfway point of the stage without failing, and to top it off, how humongous the fat ass penguin is when he tries to penetrate himself inside the V-hole. Other characters with specific timing and recovery animations also had a hard time even with their vast recovery. And lastly, underneath the tournament stage was, well, it was a very difficult long way underpassing. I feel like the stage itself is already self-explanatory. So, yeah, when making a series about testing the limitations and strengths of every character's recovery options, what else is there to do? I guess I can test out each character's individual vertical recovery, but Smash Highlights already did that. Horizontal recovery? Again, Smash Highlights. I even plan on using the Krasu 9B stage for the test by judging each individual desk to each character's recovery, but I really don't want to feel like I've copied someone else's formula. Thus, this stage will forever be exclusive to the Smash Bros. skits. Under the Battlefield stage? Well, what would the difference be compared to going under the Miiverse stage? Opposite direction of the death pool? Well, that's just an easier version, so there's really no point. I guess the best I can do is the opposite direction for the V-Hole challenge, which in itself is a new idea, but it's still reusing a stage. I want to make a brand new stage with maybe a similar idea? And I know what you're thinking, what about the board the platform stages? It seems like a fun idea in hindsight, but the thing about the series is that it requires a lot of fan feedback, something that I've unfortunately been lacking recently. That's the reason why I didn't finish the second board the platform challenge. Not every single character was played, so unfortunately I had to cancel the test because no one was participating. I know I could do the challenge for each character myself, but the problem is I'm not the best Smash player. And it'll be pretty unfair for me to test out characters I'm unfamiliar with while giving advantages to characters I do know how to play. No matter what kind of suggestions or ideas I have, I always compare them to my earlier videos. I want to bring something new to each recovery test, but I feel I might have already covered everything. I guess I can retest each individual video due to how Smash Bros Wii U is constantly getting patched, but these updates were pretty negligible, which is unfortunate to say, but unless I have a brand new idea that I nor any other YouTubers have done before, the Who Can Pass series is no more. I'm sorry to say this, but honestly I've been struggling to find a good idea for another character recovery challenge, and unless I can figure out a new stage idea or a new idea that's possible, entertaining, and challenging. I'm afraid I'm out of options.